New high resolution images of the sun's surface. Scientists with the help of Daniel K. Anuya Solar Telescope they took new photos of the sun's surface. The images show stunning details of sunspots, plasma movements, and agitated convective cells. Thanks to them, researchers hope to better understand the processes that occur on the surface of our star. Located on the Hawaiian island of Maui, Daniel K. Anuya Solar Telescope, KIST, is the most modern and powerful solar observatory. It is the largest ground-based telescope for observing the sun and boasts great possibilities. Advanced telescope optics with 4 meters with a mirror it allows you to capture even such a sunspot with an unprecedented appearance so far, detail. The telescope can observe our star in a range of from waves visible to near infrared and enables high infrared observations resolutions. The first observation cycle has recently been completed. Using on the occasion, scientists published new high resolution photos of the Sunday. The images focus on the photosphere, a region commonly called the surface Sunday. They show areas that seem calm as well as regions more active. Scientists are taking an in-depth look at the surface of the sun to learn about the processes taking place there. Images obtained thanks to TGIST emphasize the telescope's ability to record unprecedented details regarding the sun, helping scientists better understand the sun's magnetic field or details of geomagent storms. The observatory allows you to observe details in a photosphere about 20 kilometers in diameter. New images from TGIST show a variety of structures on star surface. This includes sunspots. They are visible as darker areas. The spots are temporary stamic on the surface of the sun, in which the field's magnetic ones are extremely strong. They seem darker than those surrounding them areas due to their relatively lower temperatures. There is a sunspot cooler than the rest of the sun's surface, but still extremely hot, the if we adopt human standards. Its temperature is approximately 4000 K size the stains may vary. Several of them are about the size of Earth or bigger ones. Sunspots are associated with solar activity, I'm more spots, the more active the sun is. Solar minimum, or time least activity during its 11 year cycle, our star it reached its solar maximum for the current cycle in December 2019 expected for mid 2025. Flares are also associated with sunspots solar and coronal mass ejections that may affect life on Earth. Powerful streams of charged particles hitting the Earth's magnetic field can disrupt the operation of energy networks, disrupt communication, GPS navigation, air travel, or the operation of satellites. They can also be a real threat for astronauts staying in space. The surface of the sun in the images may resemble a bit popcorn. Each of the grains is a convective cell in which the hot plasma rises it moves in the middle, then moves to the edge, and when it cools down it falls off back to the interior of the sunday. Each such cyrano is approximately 1500 km long diameter. Above the photosphere is the chromosphere, one of the layers solar atmosphere. It lies between the photosphere and the transition layer and crown. The chromosphere extends from an altitude of approximately 500 km to approximate 2000 km. Its lower limit is determined by the minimum temperature in the sun's atmosphere, I.E. 4400K. At the boundary of the transition layer, the temperature of the chromosphere already reaches 25000 K. Sometimes this layer of the sun's atmosphere is filled darker, brush stroke like threads or hair plasma. The diameter of these fibers usually ranges from 200 to 450 kilometers.
Scholars don't know how these threads are made, but there are many and there are quite reliable indicators of the directions of the chaotic solar field magnetic. Work on the TGIST Observatory began in 2013 and their planned completion was expected in 2021, but the COVID-19 pandemic she changed the work schedule a bit. The observatory is still in the startup phase, the, but it is slowly reaching its full operational capabilities. The new solar telescope may contribute to better solar weather predictions. Adds a whole set of new tools to the study solar activity, especially magnetic fields. Scientists have hoped that data from TGIST will help understand the mechanisms of these fascinating phenomena sunny. This in turn, can help you understand larger phenomena, for example the inner dynamics of the sun and what drives solar cycles. Full resolution photos can be viewed as well download on the website National Science Foundation.